Hi, I'm Nadi Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to talk about IK, or better say, basic IK. What is basic IK? Why we should use it? So, for example, in the last video, what we have done, we create some control to create an animation, and we did create an animation, right? But creating animation with just a control, it will be hard. We are not animators, right? They can do it, but we can't because we are not professional, right? So there is a lot of tools to help us to create all those animations with some knowledge, with some limitation, right? So for example, in here, the head, if I click on it and rotate it, it can rotate to the back, right? It shouldn't be able to do that. So we are not animators and we, we don't know how much should it rotate, right? We may some, make some mistake, right? In our code. So that's where basic IK come to play. So for example, in here, I could just create some control for this hand and but animate them it's it will be too hard no i did create a basic ik in here no if i grab the hand like this you can see all the bones clavicle upper arm lower arm and the hand will move accordingly and we can animate it very easily right so now i want to show you how you can create this basic ik so without any further ado let's begin you remember in last video we did create this we create some control for the root okay and we create a control for the head that we can rotate the head right we did it in last video please if you don't know what is the control rig just watch my introduction on control rig and how to create this kind of stuff now i want to show you how basic ik work and it's easy right so in here right click and search for basic ik okay don't worry about all of these inputs i will explain the most important ones so you can create some cool stuff with it every basic ik needs three bones okay and with the last bone that is this effector item can control this bone item b and bone item a accordingly so we need three bones we can do it for the leg we can do it for the hand we can do it for whatever three bone that we have and limit their um, animations and um, create some animation easy with them so first of all let's you choose our bones for example if i go up in this rig hierarchy in here i want to do it for this this and this you can see it these three bones i want to create a basic ik for them and if you don't see it like this go to character go to bones and click on selected only so when you select something in here in bone hierarchy in here it will show it to you in here so i want to change the position of all of these bones with these last bones with some controls okay so item b should be the first bone in our three bone hierarchy that is this item a and click it in here and after that click in here to set it in here of course you can just use drop down in here but it's easier to use it like this and after that lower arm that you can see it in here again click in here for item b and the effector item the item the bone that should control that item a and item b those two bones that we select for item a and item b right should be the hand okay the hand the end of the hand should control everything right so click on it and set it here no it needs an effector because uh, we don't want to use bones to to have ik we want to have controls so let's just create a control on hand right click on it right click on it and go to new and tell it to create a new control or just this new control the difference between new control and add that add new control that is a python script is that when you right click in here and go to new new control in here it will put it as a child of this hand and i don't need to do that i want to right click on it and go to new and add controls for selected of this python script and now it will create it at the bottom you can see it here right it's not a child of our hand because i don't want to be a child of our hand i want to control the hand with it if it's a child of our hand the hand will control this um control i don't want that so i delete this there is another way if you if you right click in here and add a new control in here like we did it it create a hand l control you can right click it and tell it to unparent it okay and it will exactly do the same thing that that Python script do. So handle is no here, right? The position is good. I don't want to change that. But the shape, I want to change that to a box. I want it to be thick, right? And that's a good thing that we have there. Now let's just get that, get the control, okay? And let's just connect the transform of that to the effector. Right now nothing happened because, because we didn't connect this execution pin to here. And I don't want to do that now because we didn't set up the basic IK yet. 
the basic IT does have some things that are important. First of all, primary access, secondary access, and pole vector. And this pole vector, it says the pole vector to use for the IK solver. This can be a location on direction or direction. So this pole vector is what is that um, good thing about this basic IK that we can limit the this position, the position of this, right? We can change that with this pole vector. So we need another control. And because I want to use this, I want to use, um, let me see let's just go up hand l lower arm okay the lower arm is in here i want to create control for that click on new and add control for that and it created down here i want to get it and you know that the, the pole vector is just a location it's not a transform so we need just a translation from here to pole vector right now everything is set up and you say it it will work right but no let's just change the position of this so we can see it clearly at w and bring it out a little bit like this and i want to change the shape because it should um point to our um lower arm bone in here like this right it should point to that so it will be a little bit easier to understand it so click on it and in here change the shape to pyramid tick right and if you see it cl clearly it's not pointing at that it doesn't matter if it's not point at this uh, here it doesn't matter but for presentation it will be better to click on it and rotate it uh, you can see if i want to rotate it uh, toward this I, I should change this by 90 degree and now it's pointing to our lower arm and you can see it right no the shape is good but if we compile it will get back to the default location i don't want that so right click in here and click on set offset transform from current so it will stay there now if i compile it will stay there okay if you didn't do this set current it won't it will go back to the 000 location again so the next important thing is the primary axis and secondary axis the axis of this uh, lower arm bone is important so for doing that let's just open up our a skeleton double click on it and in here find the lower arm and you can see that the rotation and the angle of our lower arm is toward the x right you can see it the x so the x is one and the y and z is zero so let's just get back in here for primary axis the x is one y and z should be zero so at default it is okay no secondary axis what is the secondary axis if we go here the secondary axis is the axis from this location to the uh, that pole vector that or control let me show you from here from this lower arm to this what is the axis from here to this control in here and th this is y and because it go this way it is minus y or minus one so we should instead of zero one and zero we should put zero minus one and zero now everything is set up and we can connect the execution pin to here nothing changes but we can create some animation with that right so if i grab it and now you can see our bones is changing this position accordingly and if i grab this pole vector in here or lower arm control we can control lower arm in here as well you can see how easy we can create some cool animation with it so that was it about basic IK. In next video, I will show you how you can create some animation with that. And after that, I will show you how you can have backward solve in your control rig. So I hope you like this video. Please, 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 if you want to help me and you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Bye.